No spin today, honeydews. I'm headed to pick up low tide Tim now. Put your seatbelt thing on. Low tide Tim and his bride and myself and Chris are headed to Williamsburg. Historic Williamsburg. To pick up our annual passes. We bought some New Year's Day. They sell them at a special price on New Year's Day. So but you got to go up there and get your picture taken and an ID. Hangs around your neck. And as you see, it's a beautiful day for spinning or going to Williamsburg. Most of the guys are out looking for yellow. I'll give you a report if I find out anything later. Stand by. We hit it in to get our tickets. And we're gonna catch the bus. Back side of the Capitol, Williamsburg Capitol building. Really? Yeah, try. A try yeah. Yeah. Take my picture. <laughs> yeah, a video camera. Yeah. Takes pictures too. I do a lot of videos. Uh, the original brick foundations of the Capitol building. Williamsburg became the capital city of the colony in 1699. Those foundations were first laid there in 1701. Uh, the, the first Capitol building was a brick and mortar building like you see here. That stood from 1705 until 1747. Uh, it burned down in 1747, unfortunately. Uh, so there was a second Capitol building rebuilt on this site. Uh, between 1751 and 53, and that of course served out the remainder of Williamsburg's time as the capital city. Now, obviously, uh, this is uh, this is based on the design of that first brick and mortar capital. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, the function of the colonial government here in Virginia and some of the changes that are being put into place after we declare independence. Uh, but before we go in, just a couple housekeeping things. Just make sure no structure today is being uh, executive, legislative, and judicial branches. Uh, all three branches of that government. Function here in uh, Colonial Virginia. Uh, even when we were in Colonial, we had a two house legislature. We're currently in the chamber of the lower house. This was the hall of Virginia's House of Burgesses, uh, the first legislative assembly of elected representatives in the Western Hemisphere. That was the lower house of the General Assembly. Every Burgess was elected, uh, two from each county of Virginia. Uh, so by, uh, by the revolutionary period, we have over 60 council members. The Royal Governor is appointed by the monarch, and <coughs> he can choose which 12 men he wants on his council. So that, that upper house was filled with no input from the general public. Capital building as well, so I'll take you all those stairs into the courtroom next. One general court for Virginia. You've been brought to stand trial in a general court. You've been charged with a felony crime for a free person, or a misdemeanor crime if you carry a fine greater than 10 shillings. Uh, if you're a slave who's been charged with any crime of any nature, or if you're a free person who's been charged with a misdemeanor crime which fines less than 10 shillings, you can be tried at the county level. Therefore, the Williamsburg, James City County Customs Court is given now.
Looks like the rocks at Ocean View. So it brought my damn scoop. Might have been able to find something. I bet you could find all you want here if you could knock these rocks loose. God, this is hard walking. That's Bowser. Black Bowser. With a jacket. Uh oh, it's his little Bowser. They have no fear of the little. I want my cookie. Um, I'll give her Get the bag. Detecting mobile. Lots of miles per gallon. Fancy. Virginia being primarily an agricultural colony, uh, any type of custom tool they might need, we can kind of develop for them. Uh, so that very large hoe on that second table there, that's a Virginia hoe that was developed specifically for use in tobacco. So something like that is going to be something that work great for. Uh, Days they bring them out here and put the wood in there and they make those ovens. And Pizza oven, bread oven, mogul. <laughs> I said, Well, you'll be able to get it out. I guarantee it. Make your neck hurt, too. We're going over here next. This is a magazine where all the rifles are. The magazine must be closed.
Hey. Hey, good. Beautiful day today. Very beautiful yesterday. Originally built in 1715 to house the king's property for the defense of the colonies. Very busy in times of war. Last war at the French was the busiest I've seen on inventory. Currently, there's not much in here. We don't have the industry to make things. We're trying to smuggle what we can to the West Indies. French West Indies or Dutch West Indies. This war is proving to go on longer than anyone expected. We don't have the industry here. Now there are locals trying to do what they can. Mr. Anderson down the street used to be the armor under the past cover, making things out of iron for the military when he can. We can find the iron. Things like shovels, axes, nails. <laughs> All the items are situated by weight, the heaviest being the powder. So the first level weapons here in this room. All lightweight supplies stored so upstairs. Well, it is. It's designed to be a hand cannon. It's not your typical musket. Um, it's the French call it an amusette. Put it on a wheel of carriage to support it. Prop it up on any fortification wall off its wheel of carriage and offer a lightweight artillery support. What's this big long gun over here? That's the wall gun I was just describing. Oh, 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 I got you. Oh, I got you, okay. It's a fancy wood in that thing. Mm -hmm. Looks like that black walnut. Mm -hmm. Do you call these spear looking things? Do you call them different things? Spear pointed ones are spontoons. They're also called the East Spontoons of Partisans. And then the, the halberd is the one with three blades. The, the halberds are carried by sergeants. Oh, ah, I gotcha. Bruton Parish Church. Old Tequita. I'm looking for something of interest here. If it's here, I'll show it to you. You'll understand more later if we find it. Well, we're leaving the historic area behind us. Now we're into the Merchant Square, they call it. Where all the big shops and restaurants and things such as that are. That place right there is one fancy place to eat. I've only been there once, but I'm dying to go back. You look it up online, the Fat Canary. That's a fancy tiquito right there, guys. Ooh. I know most of you have heard of this place. If I can find it. The trellis. There it is. Chicken and dumplings. What do you call it? Pot roast. Pot roast. Italian pot roast. Chicken and dumplings. The best of it. 
for this moment. <laughs>